All right, thanks very much, Jacob. Well, tomorrow marks one month since a deadly tornado ripped through Columbus. Many people are still figuring out how to move forward. Our Quentin Smith, he speaks with residents who were impacted. Quentin, how are people holding up? Well, Scott, as you can imagine, people are still devastated and traumatized. I spoke with a woman who lost her home during the storm. She says while city and local agencies are doing all they can to help with the recovery, she feels that when it comes to receiving federal assistance, storm victims are being neglected. And that's a picture, a so-called picture we could call me and my grandmama. This is the place Ruby Harris called home for more than 30 years. What was once a living room has now been turned into a room filled with debris. As Harris looks through the damage, she can't help but think about the night an EF3 tornado destroyed her home. I kept looking outside at the weather, and I noticed we're getting dark and darker. So then I came back inside and I closed the door. And I'm going close the door; it got white. And then next thing, I peeped out again. The light pole had got dark outside for the light pole to come on. And the next thing we knew, we was in the flow. I don't remember getting knocked in the floor or anything, but me, my daughter, and two grandbabies was knocked in the floor. Thankfully, everyone was able to make it out safe. The longtime Columbus resident says she feels as if storm victims are now being neglected when it comes to receiving federal assistance. The FEMA is moving mighty slow, and I, I know they can do better than what they're doing. If they get up and start doing what they're supposed to do, it'll be you know, better for everybody. But you just don't stand here and just watch people suffer for no reason at all. But while many wait on federal assistance, Anthony Johnson and his nephew, Jeremy Brewer, have taken it upon themselves to help the town clean up. It's just a lot of pieces that you have to put back together that was just destroyed and displaced. So we're going to do our best. This is something that people are not prepared for. How can you prepare for a hardship, tragedy, and damage like this? You, this, you know, that's nature. Nature can be tough. With one month already passing since the tornado, many are hoping that even more work will now be done to restore what was lost. If we get the help that we can get, yeah, it'll move on. But if they keep dragging like they are, it's going to take a while for Columbus to rebuild and get back up on their feet. Johnson and Brewer say they'll continue to be out in the community all weekend cleaning up. Now at this time, the city is still waiting to hear back from FEMA on whether they'll receive federal assistance. Scott.